Hi, I'm Catherine, a year eight student at the British International School of New York. Welcome to Bisney. Bisney is a co-ed school for children ages three to 14 years old. We are a beautiful school that overlooks the East River in Lower East Side Manhattan. My inquiry is can a, can a homemade magnetometer successfully detect solar storms? A solar storm is a storm that originates from the core of the sun when a nuclear reaction occurs. This nuclear reaction creates a magnetic field underneath the surface of the sun, and that magnetic field sometimes makes its way onto the surface of the sun, where it twists and turns until it eventually snaps, just like a rubber band. That means that billions of tons of plasma is hurled off into our solar system at 8 million kilometers an hour. When it passes Earth after 18 hours, the storm strikes our atmosphere, making the electrons in our atmosphere going to a high energy state. When they return to a low energy state, they release a photon, which is a light particle, and they create these beautiful lights called, called the Aurora Borealis on, in the Northern Hemisphere and the Aurora Australis in the Southern Hemisphere. Even though these lights are beautiful, the storms can interfere with our GPSs, knock out our power grids, and impact spacecraft operations and flights traveling near or over the North Pole. For my investigation, I created two magnetometers, one for upstate New York and one for New York City. After collecting about a week's worth of data, I compared my data against the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's KP Index, which is an index that shows a magnitude of a geomagnetic storm, and a geomagnetic storm is just the temporary disturbance in Earth's magnetic field. The magnetometer in New York City was more accurate in detecting solar storms than the one in upstate New York. So yes, a homemade magnetometer can successfully detect solar storms, but it depends on the location of which one is using it.